Yeah, so let's go. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you very much uh, for attending our joint meeting with our development partner, uh, TDM Systems. Uh, my name is Udo Ines, I'm responsible for product marketing or part, being part of the product marketing team of TP Technology. And uh, I'm very happy to have uh, Robert Auer with me this morning, uh, joining me for our webinar about how to use uh, TDM uh, tool management uh, in coordination with the uh, Esprit Camp system. So I like to hand over to Robert first, so he can introduce himself quickly and uh, can start with his kind time of the presentation. Yeah, hello. Uh, good morning, or maybe good afternoon, good night, wherever in the world you are right now. Um, yeah, thank you, Udo, for the, for the introduction. Uh, as mentioned, my name is Robert Auer, Director of Global Business Development here at uh, TDM Systems. Maybe real quick to myself, I'm a software engineer by trade, but manufacturing industry for my entire career, tool management, smart manufacturing for at least the last 10 plus years. Uh, yeah, my, my my home is the world. Um, I used to work and live in the US for a while. Markets uh, in Asia, Europe, the US. So this is kind of my 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 job description. However, right now, as most of you, I'm quote unquote stuck at home, <laughs> home office. Home office for me means southern Germany, Lake Constance, which is quite nice. Could be much work worse. And I'm really looking forward uh, to a interesting webinar with uh, all of you. Before I start, um, let me introduce uh, TDM Systems real quick because some of you might uh, not um, know us. TDM Systems is the, the the leading software provider for managing tool data in the in the, the metal cutting industry. Uh, we have a headquarter in, in in Tübingen, which is in Germany, south of Stuttgart, actually north of my home office. Uh, we have a subsidiary in Schaumburg. Uh, close to Chicago in the US. And of course, we have sales and service locations and partners around the world. We were around for, for more than 25 years now. Uh, yeah, we did Industry 4.0 before the name was actually invented. Um, we are a member of the Sandvik Group, which means we have a very strong company in the back. And it gives us, of course, access to know-how of, yeah, let's say, internationally leading tool manufacturers. However, at this point, it's really important also to point out that of course, we do not only manage Sandvik tools. No, we manage tools, period. I mean, we even create catalog data for some of Sandvik's competitors in the market. So you might want to say we are like the Switzerland of, of tool management. And I really think that independence or openness or whatever you want to call this is really important uh, uh, these days, especially when we talk about digital manufacturing uh, processes. And in, in this spirit, the spirit of openness, I don't really see this webinar as a, as a product presentation. <clears throat> It is really more about tool management in, in, in general, what, what state of the art tool management is and, and what it can do for, for you. And when we, when we talk about tool management, what are we talking about? I mean, in the end of the day, in a nutshell, we talk about having the right tool, the right tools at the right time, at the, the right place. And of course, I wanna add uh, in the right data quality, the, the right, uh, the perfect quality, and of course, without any, any problems and errors. Um, Basically, what we provide, we provide answers in different areas of, of the manufacturing process. For the programmers, you have, of course, your parameters, your, your, your uh, 2D, 3D um, um, model of your tool. You have the parameters, the speeds, feeds. You might have historical information. How did the tool perform in the past? You have information about the availability of that tool. Uh, for job planning, manufacturing, of course, it's a no-brainer. You have the tool location. Is it in a crib, preset or machine? Is it in regrinding? Um, you have all the documentation for job preparation, the requirement list. You have uh, gauges, fixtures. All that stuff is in the tool management system. And of course, if you talk about uh, industry 4.0, we also talk about big data. So of course, if you have a tool management system, you can analyze your process. Uh, you know about tool life, performance, usage, and all that stuff. This is when we talk about tool management, this is what, what, what tool management is um, these days. But it all came, comes back to a very, very basic thing. A tool management system manages items, components with all their parameters. An item can have, uh, uh, of course, you have uh, parameters like, uh, 
a 2D, a 3D graphic, but also like a stock location, a, a vendor name, a, a price tag. These are parameters we, we, we manage. And the items are used in tool assemblies. So we have many tools in our system to create tool assemblies out of components. And those assemblies are then, of course, used in a CAM system to do your NC program. And the output of an NC program is, of course, a tool list, a job sheet, kind of your, your main document for, for, for the shop floor process i mean this is these are this is basic um tool management and you can already see like screenshots out of the software why are we doing this of course standardization transparency reduced downtime that's that's the goal of it and i just want to show a couple numbers here talking about um the benefits of tool management would be an entire entire different uh, webinar but just three numbers here one of our customers reduced their 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 amount of tool assemblies by 50% in one year. So they had 6,000 tool assemblies on the shop floor. They reduced it down to 3,000 and that gave them savings by around about 2 million euros. Or another one, um, 350 years, uh, 350 hours per year, um, basically reduced downtime on a machine just by, 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 by um, yeah, basically reducing waste along the, the, the manufacturing process or 45% less scrap, increased tool usage by up to 50%. Again, this would be a topic for an entire uh, different webinar, but just to give you an idea why why people do tool management. Yeah, and and tool management, we always talk about the digital twin and we manage this digital twin basically along the entire process, along the entire end-to-end -end process. Every step of this process uh, has a demand for tool data and we provide it. For example, in the beginning, you have your ERP system, uh, we have we supply the, the component information with an article number price tag you have of course your different cam systems every cam system slightly different demand to the digital twin uh, vending systems presetting machines so this is kind of the the, the landscape we're looking at and we uh, supply interfaces to all the players in this field and we supply the digital twin along the entire process and yes we talk about quote unquote just a tdm as pre-integration today, but this has implication, a lot, implications along the, the, the process. You start your NC program with quote unquote validated components. You know they're available, you know who the vendor is, you know what they cost, all that information is available. So you start your program, the German word would be on the right foot, and as soon as you're done with programming, you supply the data automatically downstream. You have uh, a bill of material with stock location. You have an assembly drawing. You create the presetting information. You have the offsets or the, the, the nominal data, the tolerance, all that stuff. And then, of course, you can connect it to, to a machine control. Um, with this group, we're talking about programming CAD, CAM. I want to, I have actually included one slide because one of the biggest topics for you guys is how do we get the data into the system in the first place? And of course, we offer a couple um, a couple features, functions, tools to do that. We have our own web catalog where you can uh, download tool data in the right format. We uh, have catalogs of other tool vendors in, in, in our system. Actually, we do create the catalogs for for all of those vendors in-house. We have an interface to, to Tools United, but then also to the machining cloud, which you are probably all familiar with. And last but not least, we have a, a data service team in-house. They do nothing else but create tool data. They, most of the time, they do this actually for, for, for big tool manufacturers, um, but they are also there to help our end customers to create tool data in the system because data is king that's kind of the the starting point for everything and i just want to show you one thing out of our software and i will show it to you later in the software actually actually live we have what we call a data compliance check so as soon as you enter something in tdm no matter what the source is uh, the system will automatically check is the data quote unquote good enough for a certain purpose so is it good enough for logistics which means you need maybe a picture an article number and uh maybe a stock location but for 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 cam it's a different story for sp we need a different set of parameters a different set of, of of graphics and i will show it to you in, in the software in a second and the system even suggests hey there are some optional parameters you might want to add for xp for example we could have added a machine id a node an operation or a t number it will tell you and then you can decide do i want to add it or not so that was my my kind of <laughs> short quote unquote uh, introduction let's have a quick look into the the, the tdm systems and what you're going to see in a second i hope is the TDM software, it's called Global Line. That's the starter screen, of course, fully customizable. Um, and you can already see, this is the important stuff here. We manage items, we manage assemblies, we manage jobs, tool lists, and of course, there's stock management. Um, 
and I'm just going to go through the kind of the the, the user uh, interfaces, the, the tabs, real quick. Um, and just want really just want to give you a quick introduction. So, for example, the the, the, the components, the items. It looks like that you have a, a search function, which is like a Google-like search. You can enter technical parameters to find something, uh, characteristics like tool type, or I mean, I already did something. I mean, technology. I want to. I need a tool for a certain um, operation, for example. Or if you want to add a supplier, all that stuff you can you can search this. It's a very very functional search. Then of course you you select one of the the components and you have 2d graphics 3d graphics and of course information about uh, is the tool available that one for example we have 31 new ones in our in our tool crib and 41 used so you have all information necessary of course you have the speeds and feeds uh, for this component we even have an integration into for example a Cora plus where you can automatically download this, the the recommended speeds and feeds at this point um, supplier parameter so everything is here and we're talking about a database. So I also can check, is this component used in a tool assembly? And the system tells me this component of the face mill is used in this tool assembly. Let's click on it. And I'm automatically transferred to uh, to the tool assembly tab. And let's do the 3D, that's a little bit nicer. And yeah, you can see the same thing. We have all the parameters here. And let's start here, the parameters, um, the bill of material in order I wanna if I want to uh, assemble it. And here we have the speeds and feeds on, a, on an assembly level. So these are, of course, the recommended speed and feeds, but you can also add historical data, um, experience, and all that stuff. And this is now the, the really interesting part for you. Um, as soon as the tool is set up in our system, we automatically create the, the, the digital twin or the data for, for all the systems we have interfaces to. So in this case, I just want to show you real quick. I mean, you're probably familiar with that. These are the parameters we we, we create for for Esprit. You call it uh, as a classification of face mill. It's a with a conical shank. These are the parameters, and these are the the 3D graphics uh, or the the step file and the 2DXF you need in order to work with it. And of course, we also transfer the speeds and feeds. If we look at a different system like Vericut for simulation, it looks a little bit different. They call it another mill with a conical shank, different parameters. And of course, the 3D graphic is slightly different. Uh, it's, 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 it's a DXF with the cutting, non-cutting part in one and a nice step file. So what I'm trying to say is you set up the data once and we make sure that we match it to the different systems um, connected to the, to, the, to, to the tool management software. So now you might say it's a nice presentation. This is a, an assembly which is already in there. What happens if I have to create one from scratch? Also no problem, we have an assembly builder. The only thing you have to do, you select the, the cutting part of the tool and let me do something which for whatever reason is a little more complicated for most. Uh, let's use a turning tool. Um, let's use a, uh, let's use something with two components. Um, let's use a bar here and this one. So you only have to select the, the cutting part of the tool and then I just have to click on this little blue, uh, that's a little lag in the view. Let me, yeah. Now I have, just have to click on this blue plus and now the system automatically suggests components which fit together with this bar. So I'm just gonna select whatever here. These are only components which work with the, with the initial uh, component I selected. So now the only thing I have to do now or can do if I want, I can ch change the, 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 the length, diameter, so. And I'm done. I did just create a, a nice little turning tool. And if I would save it now, I'm not going to do this. The system would again, uh, the system would generate the perfect digital twin for 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 Esprit for all the all the systems which are connected to 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 TDM. So and this would now be used in Esprit. And Udo will show you in a second how that is going to work. And then the output of your CAM system is a so-called tool list. So uh, the, the job sheet for, for a specific part with all the tools needed in order to manufacture that part. We can add gauges, fixtures, documents to that to that job, job sheet. This is your main document for the shop floor. And we provide this job sheet along the entire process. So uh, in, in, in the tool crib, we can automatically um, get stuff out of the vending systems by using this, this, this job sheet bill of material. You have your assembly drawing. We can send the, the, the nominal data and the tolerances to a presetter. And then of course, last but not least, we, we can uh, communicate with machine controls. And I really want to show you quickly how this could look like. Let's just say you want to create a, 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 new, a new part. And I'm going to use the, 
this, this connecting rod with its four tools. And now I can check, I want to run this, this tool on, on, on a machine. And the system will actually tell me, okay, if you want to run it on this machine, those four tools are actually already in the machine and they have remaining tool life. So there's nothing I have to do. Let's check uh, how would it look like on a different machine, on another machine, oopsie. I have to actually create all four tools. I have to create them from scratch, build them from scratch, measure them and bring them to the machine. So I, I might want to choose actually the first machine because it, it, it makes my work much, much easier. So step step two, kind of on the shop floor. And the last step, of course, we can connect to machine controls, check for tool life, make sure if a tool life uh, falls below a certain warning limit, um, we can prepare can make sure that the next tool is prepared and you bring it to the machine. So you reduce your downtime to a minimum. And of course, you can you can monitor the tools to 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 analyze how good do they perform, are the speeds and feeds I selected actually okay, or do I have to adjust them in the future? Things like that. And really the last screen I want to show you in, in the software, yes, it's a database and we can analyze kind of everything we want, every data we have, we can analyze it and visualize it. So we know what's going on, what orders are on the shop floor, what are most used tool items, most used tool assemblies. Um, and of course we have data about how much money is right now buried in our, in our, in our stock. Um, we can uh, evaluate vendors and so on and so forth. And this is, if we if we talk about tool management today, this is what we consider um, state-of-the-art tool management. So that's it from my end. I hope this wasn't uh, um, too much, but uh, this is exactly what, what 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 we do. And now my last slide, and then I'm gonna hand over to Udo is basically just to summarize, to summarize what I just said. We manage items, assemblies, tool lists. Uh, we make sure we can create the tool assemblies ready to be used in, in, in Esprit. We have an assembly builder. And then, of course, you select the tools out of, out of uh, TDM. We uh, transfer the geometry, speeds, fees, parameters, and then you save your job, your tool sheet in TDM. And that's about it. And with that, I am done. And basically literally and from a data point of view, I hand over uh, to you, Udo. Thank you, Robert. Uh, thank you for showing the, the point of view uh, from the uh, TDM side and just uh, take care about the Esprit side of the business. Uh, as you see, uh, TDM and, and Esprit, we are, we are partners uh, in manufacturing. So this also means that we are sharing uh, common ideas and uh, yeah, common views uh, on the business. So for us, the tool management for sure is also a very important uh, part of the business. Uh, as of today, uh, when we talk about uh, Industry 4.0 and digital twins, uh, we clearly can see that tool management is an important part of the business and it helps us to connect the two available worlds right now, which is a, a virtual kind of planning where we, where we work in a digital base using computers, software, and it also is the connection to the actual production, to the shop floor, to the machine tools, where we see the, the parts coming into life. Also important for tool management is the tool database. Robert mentioned a lot of the benefits you have. <clears throat> you all with your teammates can work uh, based on, on a central database. So you can rely on that always what is available there is on a high quality, is proven, and you may use it without any hassle and without uh, asking any more questions. Uh, tool management also from our point of view uh, allows us a transparent data flow across all process steps from building a tool assembly, taking it over, uh, doing your, your programming part uh, of the job, and then <clears throat> also providing uh, this data and information in a digital model. So you may use it for any kind of collision control uh, or verification um, business. There are some benefits uh, like to it, uh, linked to it. Overall, very important, it's increasing productivity. This is something where we really can save time. And time, uh, it's not just a slogan, time is money. That's uh, more and more important in our today's world. I'd also help you reducing your planning time in making all the information and data available to you uh, on the fly. Uh, there is no longer searching for a tool where you have to spend 30 minutes to figure out, okay, do we have the tool in place? It's in the tool grip. Uh, can we use it? Is it a new one? Is it, is it a used one? 
So all this information is now also available for the people doing the programming job. And like what Robert already mentioned about, finding the right tool for the right machine at the right time can help you saving a lot of time. And for some of the customers, it really reduced <clears throat> machine town time by up to 30%, which basically says, okay, you can make more profits when you program your part, you manufacture your part. And this is a good saver because first of all, more profit means the company becomes healthier. It can also have a, a higher salaries paid for the employees. There's a lot of things that are really related to it. And on top, a lot of jobs are you have to do in a repeatable way. And the more you can use or you can rely on having such information and data available in a database, it makes it much easier and you can do all the needed jobs in a shorter amount of time. And it also saves you for the prepare time and also for the setup process. <clears throat> Basically, when we talk about when we talk about this kind of workflow, we see it happening in four steps. So, like what you see on the left side, it's the tool supplier. So you know we have uh, so many hundreds of tool suppliers, and everyone <clears throat> is specialized on different kind of tools. Uh, in the past, they all have been providing this information about the tooling, the tool dimensions, feeds and speeds, in in a way of like a printed catalog which was good, but most of the time when the catalog got printed, it was outdated already uh, because also development of new tools and enhancements is an ongoing process. So as of today, uh, the tool supply is even adding more information to it. It's not just uh, the tool information. It also comes up with a 3D model uh, of the tool itself. And there is an additional uh, 3D model coming up from, let's say, uh, from the holder manufacturer which needs to be combined so you can uh, work on, on handling uh, of, a, of a proper tool assembly. So this part of the job uh, is becoming more and more complex because everything has to be combined and handled. And the second step, the tool management, is an excellent tool which is helping mapping all the information we receive from the tool supplier into a common way so the tool management allows us to have a, a, a single kind of interface uh, to set up all your tools, to select your tools, and then make them available in a digital way and go over the next step to the CAD CAM, where we can easily access this information without having to, to think about what's the type of format, let's say, a Sandvik tool is using, can also uh, import something from, from Hoffman Group or, or from any other kind of, of manufacturers. We don't even have to think about partners like TDM Systems allow us to access this information very easily and, and in a convenient way. So on the CAD CAM side, the, the job we do is we import the tooling information and on top the digital uh, tooling data to work on preparing the manufacturing process. So we add on uh, cutting processes, uh, cutting operations. That's the job we are using something like the CAD CAM. And then on the very right side, which is the last step, where we have the manufacturing part of the whole job. This is basically where I say, this is where we convert a digital model we have in our mind into a real life product. And on our point of view, we want to focus today a little bit on, on two components, which are in the middle, which is TDM systems on the tool management side and our spree solution on the CAD CAM, being partnering uh, to allow you to do your job more easily and uh, more profitable. So we have, uh, like I said, hundreds of tool suppliers uh, offering uh, tooling information in various formats. You can even think about uh, all of them are really supported by TDM, so you can easily access the different uh, digital catalogs. And then from within Esprit, you can do your own tool selection, your tool search. You can, you can assemble your tools. And then with a single mouse click, you can take them over so they become reusable within your, your yeah, known environment of, of the Esprit software. And then helping you prepare the job in programming the whole uh, job. And then finally, 
uh, hand it over to the machine tool where you see so many different machine tool brands and different type of controllers. So all that information going from left to the right and you always can be ensured that the quality and the that the quality of everything uh, you use is always on a top level. So you don't see any errors in between and don't have to hassle about things which keep you away from doing the job you want to do. But also like Robert did it before for the uh, TDM Global Line, uh, we also like to showcase you how this works from within Esprit. So currently you just see uh, the application started. You see your part you have to program there. And on top in the ribbon, uh, you can see right now on the right side, you can see uh, TDM Tool Manager, TDM Feeds and Speeds Manager, and the Tool List Export. So we have three components. The Tool Manager allows us to connect to the TDM database, to search our tools, uh, to assemble our tools, and to import them over uh, to reuse them within our Esprit platform. On top, we also can uh, import the feeds and speeds. So we are able to access the TDM feeds and speeds manager. We can transfer this information over uh, to the Esprit product line. And as the third part, the tool list export, this is uh, quite useful. When we are working on all the tools, we're working on the programming job, and then we need to make some slight adoption or slight changes. We can use the tool list export to collect all the information we used in our real programming and give it back to the uh, tool, tool management software so they have a, an overview about the, the real work and the real job we did. But I don't want to speak too much. I like to, to showcase uh, how everything works. And uh, we like to uh, start the programming job now. So I just go there, uh, starting up the, the tool manager. And you see it's a pretty much identical interface. Uh, it helps me now to identify the tools. So let's say for that job, I'm using a face mill or 50 millimeter diameter. I just hit search and it's looking for the available tools. Okay, there's one. Oh, it doesn't fit really myself because it's a little bit too long. I want to use a shorter one. I just select it. You click on import tools. We add more. I like to have, a, let's say, a, two more end mills. I need a 20 millimeter uh, diameter end mill. We just select this one. Uh, you can define uh, any kind of the search criteria. For me, for this job right now, it's the easiest way just to import or to input the tool diameter to find what I'm looking for. So we have uh, three tools available. Now I also want to add uh, additional drills we need uh, for this type of the job. So you can see all the different information. You can even sort and you can search by also cutting lengths, tool lengths, uh, number of flutes. You can combine anything you like. And as you see, it's fast, it's simple, it's easy. And now you can see on the left side of the screen, you can see all the tools being there, but they're not mounted yet because we still need to assign them to a station. So in here, we have a horizontal mill, and now we have add all these tools to our uh, to our automatic tool changer. What is still needed to do if it's not done yet on TDM side, you need to edit the tool to assign the proper uh, tool number to it. That's something I don't show here right now, but that's easy to do. Uh, you just double click your tool, change the tool number. Uh, you can see the tools are easily visible. Uh, when you go into the simulation mode, uh, you can see all the tool assemblies right there. And like Robert already said, uh, milling tools are the simple task. I also want to add a, a similar uh, turning tool to my job. So I define my search criteria, I take over the job, and then I also assign it uh, to my tool station. And when selecting it, you see also the tool is uh, within a single mouse click, it's available there. I can view it, I can double check whether everything got mounted properly. And I also can be ensure that what is taken over from the tool management software is valid, it's true data, and it's reusable on our system without any more hassle. So we just can start 
uh, immediately. So these tools get used uh, from uh, a job to start the verification and simulation process. So let's go a step further. And uh, let me tell you about this solution uh, between TDM systems and Esprit. Uh, it's called the TDM Global Line. It's an interface. It's available as an, as an add-in or as an extension for the whole line of the Esprit products. So whether you are running currently Esprit 2000 series or Esprit TNG, you don't have to worry. Uh, the solution is available uh, for all of them. How can you get more information? Uh, here we have a listing of uh, the TDM uh, locations. We just have been choosing uh, the three main ones. So there's a one location in, for the European market, which is located in Germany, in Tübingen, close to Stuttgart. There's the Americas, where we have a location in Schaumburg, close to Chicago. And there's another one for the, for the market in Asia, which is in India and Pune. And on the right side, you see another uh, link. Uh, you can go easily there and then select your country and you can see all the related uh, TDM uh, subsidiaries where you can get in touch with these people also to figure out more about the people you need to talk to for your related country. Because we cannot list uh, all the countries uh, within just a single presentation. But also uh, you can get in touch with the one of the Esprit uh, resellers or Esprit directly, and we can help you connecting ourselves and yourself uh, for a specific request uh, with all the people together. So we can come to your place, we can analyze the situation you have uh, on site, we can provide you uh, guidance, we can provide you offer together, uh, providing you information about uh, training for this solution, uh, software, maintenance, whatever is needed all over the place. So it doesn't matter whether you call TDM first or you call the Esprit guys first. We all team up and work together to finding a good solution, which is exactly fitting your needs and providing you everything you need. Uh, I think we will close down our webinar meeting today. Uh, I'd like to thank again uh, everyone for the attention. Please feel free, drop us an email at product.dbtechnology.com and Robert and I, uh, we will work on it and we'll be happy to get back to you uh, with sufficient answers on your requests and needs. Yeah, thank you also for my end. Yeah, That's fancy, right? okay. <laughs> thank you everyone, thank you Robert. Thank Goodbye, you. we're closing down now. <laughs> <laughs>